people talk about uh, how they want to be an owner operator and make tons of money and control their own fate um, that, that's all good if you if you have a plan if you don't plan you're not gonna last long out here and I'll, I'll give you a, a great example why I say that I run out of Phoenix a lot so whenever I'm home I anticipate not being able to get a load out of here or if I do it's usually a low paying load to get me to towards Dallas where I normally run and try to get loads out of there now here's what happens if you don't plan and you don't save money as an owner operator so it's uh, Wednesday yeah Wednesday right now it's about uh, 1245 I went down to get my truck this morning because it was in the shop at a caterpillar dealer the reason it was in a shop was I had a constant chirping noise I replaced the belts, the four belts on my cat engine. And uh, there had been a constant chirp ever since I've done that. So that's usually caused by something being out of alignment when a comp the AC compressor kicks in or the fan clutch kicks in. Turns out it was the fan clutch that was bad. So if you have your own shop or a place to do the work, it's not too bad. You can buy a rebuild kit for... Uh, about four or five hundred bucks. Um, you can buy a rebuilt fan clutch for about seven hundred to eight hundred dollars. I didn't have that luxury because I don't have the shop or the the space to change the fan clutch myself. So I'm at a cat dealer. I have them do it with labor because they run by the book. Even with discounted shop rate labor, it's about seventeen hundred dollars. So, so that happens this morning. I pick up the truck at uh, about 9.30. Gonna go get a PM done, oil change, lube, filters, all that stuff. Because I do that about every 20, 22,000 miles. And um, that runs about 400 bucks. <clears throat> so right there, I'm out of pocket about $2,100. So, and I haven't even started the truck yet. I'm, I'm just getting there at the shop, getting the oil change done. Because as any good shop should do, they check carrier bearings, the U-joints, the wheel seals, the transmission levels, all that stuff. Now, I got 380,000 miles on a P389. In terms of a truck's age and mileage, that's not new, but it's not anywhere near old. For a cat engine, it's definitely not old. All four wheel seals on my drive axles have gone out. All four of them. Here's the bad part. If your wheel seals go out and you don't catch them quick enough, the oil will leak out and get on your brake shoes, which means you have to re replace all your brake shoes. So four wheel seals and brake shoes is about $1,300. I haven't driven five miles and I'm about $3,500 in repairs. And um, if you see in my truck, it looks brand new. The engine looks brand new. Everything looks brand new. But the components go out, and if you don't have the money to fix it, you're screwed. You're borrowing money. You're paying interest rates. You're whatever you're doing. <clears throat> so it's real critical that you have money in your account to pay for this kind of stuff. Now, that doesn't hurt me. It doesn't make me happy. <clears throat> but it's better than catching that on the road or worse yet, being pulled over by a DOT inspector and being put out of service in the middle of nowhere and having to pay for a road service call to do all that work. It would cost a lot more money. So you gotta make sure you have money saved up. If you're gonna become an owner operator, you gotta have money in the bank. And that's minimal stuff. It doesn't include the seven tires I've replaced in the last six months. And the reason I'm sitting here in my truck is I'll show you it's because I'm sitting in the shop and he's working on my wheel seals right now it's always fun spending money <laughs> don't leap before you have a plan and some money saved just cover your ass wish you luck be safe be smart